Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Muslim Salikov versus Andre Fialo. And I see one right here, the more average confidence Muslim Salikov. I just feel like with this one, Andre Fialo definitely got some big power in his hands, but striking defensively and def like this is striking in general. Even for like Fort L, this ain't no case of, well, his loss in the UFC. His L, well, he got like two L's in the UFC, but before this most recent L, he got knocked out. Or did he get submitted? I, I'm forgetting all these things, but um, he definitely got stopped by Jake Matthews. I can't recall. I ain't going to look it up, but I know he got stopped. And um, I remember getting stopped. I don't know if it was by TKO or submission, but the man definitely got stopped. But nonetheless, Fialo, even before um, these recent L's and his most recent L, he always been a guy that's susceptible to allowing people to get out to a lead on him. Allow himself to just walk forward and get tagged up. And then eventually, once he gets to you, he can land power. He's never really been the most intelligent defense guy. I like slipping. Like, yes, he's pressing forward, but like an intelligent presser, uh, an intelligent pressure fight. Like, he's he walking you down, but he's not eating no punches. He's not eating no kicks. Like, he walking down, he outlanding you. He's not walking down like a zombie getting tagged up and then, like, landing shots. Fialo kind of more so in that zombie kind of category. And I feel like Salikov, that's what he, he would love that. A guy that's going to walk forward, straight up, chin up in the air, kind of, hands low. And so he could drop these overhands on him, catch him with spinning back fists. Yes, Fiala got that power, but it's not like his offensive grappling is all that great, so Salikov should be okay there. Okay, there may be able to win, the, to win in the grappling department a little bit. Maybe. But um, I just think he knocks money like second round. Like, he he keep, walks him, keep walking him to traps. Fiala he's pressing forward, trying to look for the power and land on him. Chin, chin up, hands low, looking to touch with power, eating shots to try to get shots off. Then eventually, Mula Salikov starts to draw him into stuff, spinning back fists, overhands body kicks and so Salikov got some mean power and he got some mean accuracy and I think he's going to exploit the fact that Fialo's you know give him those openings it's not like Fialo's going to leave those openings to draw out a counter on him Fialo already hasn't shown that ability yet so if he does it is what it is but I don't think he's going to show that ability now he hasn't developed it yet I don't think he's going to develop he hasn't shown it yet and I don't think he's going to develop it now or ever at least in his career maybe as a coach but as a fighter I don't think he's going to develop it and I think his style and his tendency is going to lead to him getting knocked out and walk into a lot of big shots and Salikov just going to play him like a puzzle so in this one <clears throat> in this one I have Muslim Salikov via second round TKO